I'll guide you through how you can use the green screen tool in CapCut. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's do this. Firstly, you need to go and create a new project or alternatively, you can open up an existing project. In this case, I'm going to go and open up a new project. And if you're doing the same thing, what you need to do is just go and add the video you want in the background. Don't add the green screen clip. You just need to add the background video. So go and tap on new project, then go and select the video which you want in the background, which I've now done. So I'll then go and tap on add and here it is. And now what I want to do is go and add the green screen over this video. So now what we need to do is go and add the video which has got the green screen in. So to do that, make sure you haven't gone and select the video. You'll know you've gone and selected it because it's gonna have a green outline around it and a back button in the bottom left. So make sure you unselect it and then go to the bottom and go and tap on overlay like this and then go and tap on add overlay and your camera will then open and you need to go and select the clip with the green screen in. I've now gone and selected it and then what you need to do is tap on add in the bottom right and there it is. So the first thing I recommend doing is making sure you've gone and selected it and then resizing it uh, to the size you want it to be. So that's going to be completely up to you. And then you can preview it. As you can see, this is subscribe animation. So that's the size I want it to be. However, you can always go and change the size later on as well. So it doesn't matter too much. So once you're happy with the size, then what you want to do is make sure you keep it selected like it is now and then go to the bottom navigation bar, then scroll along these options at the bottom here until you see the option for cutout and click there. And in cutout, you'll then go and see the option for chroma key. So you can click there and chroma key basically means selecting a color and removing it. So tap on chroma key like this, and then it will take a moment to load and then make sure color picker is selected. And then what you need to do is go and select the color you want to go and remove. So drag this ring and dot here. And then as you can see, basically what the dot is in, the ring will then reflect. So move it into the green. That's correct. Once you've got the color selected, you then need to go over to the right in the bottom and go and tap on intensity. And then what you can do is increase this sort of dragger here. And as you can see, then it, the more you do it, the more it removes the green. So if you make it too intense, it may start to remove the actual image itself. So yeah, go and sort of decrease and increase to find the right medium. In this case, I think I'll try about 40. We'll try 50 actually like that. And you can also go and then have a shadow if you'd like. So that's going to be up to you. Um, and yeah, and then once you're happy with it, you can go and press on the tick in the bottom right. You can always make further edits later though. Just tap on the tick and there we go. Let's play it from the start and I think that looks pretty good. So that's it guys. Then what you can do is go make further edits as well. And by the way, when you go and press the back button in the bottom left to make further edits, it's going to go and minimize the green screen to then go and view it again and, and change when it starts, things like that. Just go and tap on that little sort of drop icon at the start and then it's going to expand it again.